Hello everyone, it's Ian Myers here. Thank you for joining me. I hope your day is going well. Mine is going fantastic. Um, as many of you know, I write the blog over at I Am Wellness where you can find tips and tricks and recipes on the healthy lifestyle. As well as I'm making these videos now, which I'm really enjoying sharing with you guys. And uh, I have so much knowledge and information that I've gained over the years and I just want to share and give back and do uh, do as much good service as I can. So I hope you enjoy these videos. This today, this vi this specific recipe that I'm going to make is very special to me. It is uh, it is a recipe that's going to help with arthritic pains, um, kidney and bladder stones, and also be very beneficial in lowering your uric acid. So it can be helpful with with the gout, and um, uh, and that's it. So I wanted to. The reason this is so special to me is my grandmother actually had rheumatoid arthritis and rheumatoid arthritis is where you develop acid crystals in the joints and the joints literally become stiff and rigid and they can't and you can't move your fingers so hers were literally locked like this and it was like you know they were deformed and she couldn't do she could do certain things but I saw the pain that she was in chronic inflammation the body was so inflamed everywhere she went through hip surgeries and the thing that I learned about this this uh, this dis-ease is that it's caused from an over acidic condition in the body. Our body becomes so acidic from the uh, external toxins and from uh, foods and things like that, pills that we take, medications. So what we, what we want to do is we want to alkalize the body. And um, it's going to be juices like this that help to alkalize the body, hydrate the cells so we can get rid of those acid crystals that form around the joint and, um, and cause that discomfort. And, uh, and also, this spe specific recipe will help to reduce the uric acid in the body, which will help people with gout and, uh, and kidney, kidney and bladder stones. Um, so this is, this is going to be a, a very special juice. I know you'll enjoy it. There's a lot of great ingredients here. Fennel bulb is actually a great one. This it looks like uh, celery on steroids, but, you know, it, fennel actually helps the body, helps the metabolism to speed up. Therefore, helping to um, increase, well, it increases the metabolism, obviously, but it helps to burn your body fat. So, I don't know if you guys, some of you may know, some of you may not. Get more fennel in your juices, and it actually tastes good. It's almost like a licorice, um, a licorice flavor. So, try that. It's also high in calcium as well as potassium. Now, we've got lemons. You know, I, know, I love lemons. It's great for detoxing, pulling mucus, stimulating the lymphatic system, but also vitamin C. Of course, the, the cucumbers are here. Uh, we've got celery, carrots, apple, one apple today because we don't want to sweeten it up too much. The carrots are going to give it a lot of, a lot of sugar. And then we're going to go with turmeric and ginger. Both of these are excellent with treating inflammation and are also great for the immune system and the circulatory system. So, and the last one I've got is parsley. So we're going to use a, is it one bundle of parsley. Now, there's a lot of ingredients here because I like to make enough juice to last me for the whole day. And this juice will last me for the whole day because I preserve it with a lemon. This helps cut down the oxidation of the juice. Now, of course, you want to drink it right away to get the best results and, um, and to get the most nutrients. But by adding a lemon, it will help to preserve that juice for up to 24 hours and 48 hours max, okay? obviously drink it right away. Now, you guys know I'm not a medical doctor. I'm not trying to give medical advice here, but I do want to share um, th tips and tricks like this that I know will help you. Um, I've used it in my own life, and I've seen great results with clients that I've worked with. So check, the, check out this recipe. I'm going to crank on the juicer. We're using the Breville Juice Fountain, which I find to be an incredible machine. Uh, there are many other juicers that you can use, but we're going to turn this thing on, and I'm just going to make, I'm just going to use half of this recipe and go ahead and make just a little bit of juice so we can try it and then I'll make the rest off the camera so we save some time. I want to chat with you after. All right, so here we go. I'm going to start out with, start out with uh, the parsley first. That smells so good already. We're just getting, we're just getting started. We're gonna go with celery. That fennel is amazing. Cucumbers. We got 
to dance when you do it. And then add a couple of carrots in. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm going to go with the turmeric and ginger. Still with me? A little bit of lemon here. we got to add that in to cut it down, cut down the oxidation. And then I'll make the rest of the juice after. All right. You guys notice I didn't add in the apple. So I'll add that in later if it doesn't fall off the counter. All right, so the juice is made. I'm going to grab a glass here. And what I wanted to talk to you guys about, um, you know, this is the Breville Juice Fountain. It's a great juicer. I support it. I've had it for four years. They have an excellent warranty program. Um, the other juicers that I, I really like that have that that um, that do a very good job with making the juice is the Omegas. I think it's the six, seven, and eight hundred series, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. And they're a single auger. And what I've I've tried them. I've used I've used a couple of them, and the juice comes out uh, very. Uh, it's very. I don't know how to how to describe it. The colors are, are a little bit more rich. You have to take more time because you have to cut everything down into smaller pieces, but it definitely maximizes the yield of the juice. Uh, 